Beautiful Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Singles Love Reading for mid-June right through to mid-July 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's get straight to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, this is your singles love reading. For those of you who are not looking for a love reading, I will be doing a career reading for your sign. And there is already a general monthly June reading up there for you as well. So you can check that out. That's not about love either. So, um, but this is a singles love reading. Let's get straight to it, my beautiful Cancerians. I'm going to get all your cards first before I transmute an outcome. Um, but just to let you know, Venus entered June in Aries. So that is all about passion. It's about, um, you know, finding energy and motivation to go out and find love. But it's also about taking your initiative to put yourself in a scenario to um, meet somebody new. Okay, so let's see what is coming for you. How would you like to receive? Okay. Uh, we've got Wow, these are an outcome energy. Um, okay, wow, you've got those as an outcome energy, you've got the ring, um, and you've got the anchor. So, uh, but right now you feel like you're at a fork in the road. You don't know which uh, journey to take, uh, but we're going to go deeper, as I said, and find out your cards. Now, just to let you know, Venus also moves into um, Taurus in the middle of the month. So this is about um, going from passionate um, connections with people right into higher level of commitment. And you've got the Hierophant right there. So that Taurus energy is really influencing uh, Venus for you in particular. Okay, um, so let's see what is coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles there. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Can they please guide? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please? I really feel like um, there. Well, there's definitely a new beginning coming here for you. Uh, but yeah. I get this energy that you're disconnecting from something or somebody. Now, it doesn't have to be that, um, it doesn't also have to be a person. It can be that you are uh, going on a bit of a journey of discovery, recognizing what you truly want in a relationship and what no longer um, serves you. Or Because I feel like you're maturing here. Um, and we've got the Empress. Definitely confidence is the key here um, to meeting somebody new, recognizing how beautiful or attractive you are, because I feel like um, you may not have felt like you're enough sometimes. Uh, but let's see, we've got three of wands, we've got two of wands, interesting. We got the Hierophant again. So really interesting, I'm loving this energy because you start out, this is your protagonist energy, what you are trying to achieve. The Hierophant is a marriage card or a committed union that is a higher level of connection. And that's what you're getting. The outcome energy is the higher level and it's clarified there by that ring. So if you're looking to uh, meet somebody to get married, whoop, we got the hermit. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. And we've also got the five of wands. So they're just showing me here that sometimes you're a little bit conflicted about how you feel about yourself. Okay, uh, they want one more, so I'll give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Uh, you want one more for my beautiful Cancerians. Uh, we've got the Three of Swords. So yeah, you're walking away from a heartbreak or a very dysfunctional situation um, where it may have played, uh, may have made you almost play mind games with yourself, where you, uh, you know, had low self-confidence or lack of um, self-assurance. Uh, someone or a situation has knocked your confidence and it's chipped away. It's almost influenced your upper, 
yeah, it's like influence how you operate in love relationships. Okay, it's connected to your confidence. But anyway, we'll get to it when we get to it. The first card here for you is number 22. Now, when you reduce it, two plus two is four, the emperor energy, which is a maturing energy. So you're looking at things that you want and what you no longer will accept when it comes to love relationships. Okay, this is like the fork in the road there, of course. So I feel you're at your in-between choices. So either you have a person in mind or you're currently closing out a... Um, an energetic exchange with somebody. Uh, th there's definitely a moving on energy in your reading, okay? Um, now, this could be that you're like at a fork in the road when it comes to your job or where you live or like bigger things. This is your protagonist energy. So I feel like more that you're learning about what you want and you're looking further afield. The Three of Wands tends to talk about, um, you know, um, anticipating something new, looking out to the world and seeing what is available. Uh, it's also about you asking if you're on the right track. So whereas you do want a committed and a very high level of commitment relationship, you're looking to settle down and meet somebody that you can call your partner and work uh, and walk through life together. Um, the Three Wands tells me that um, perhaps you're doing a lot of other things in your life right now where you're achieving and you're wondering about your path. There's bigger questions here about which path to take. So I will pull some cards on that because the Three of Wands is also like a path taker card. Um, you know, this is about you aligning yourself on the right path towards your success. So whatever it is that you are focused on, you will achieve. You're making really good choices. But I need to find um, a little bit more energy about this. Um, so... I feel like you may have gravitated towards people in the past and I'm only talking about the past in order to understand the present you rather than you want to be with someone from the past. If you do want to be with someone from the past, that will be in a different reading. This is a singles love reading, okay? I'll only focus on that energy unless it comes up and right now it has not come up, okay, uh, as a return energy. I'm just going to clarify this. We've got the Page of Cups the Temperance card, the Star card, and the Knight of Wands. So they're telling me here that there is someone, um, you know, you've withdrawn your love or you've withdrawn your looking for love. Um, you, there, you may have met someone who uh, sort of like was in and out of your life. The Temperance card indicates you've been very patient with this person. You're trying to temper yourself. But the Star energy, it caused a lot of confusion. And uh, it's almost like a previous experience, the Knight of Wands in reverse, someone who's very chaotic, impulsive, you know, a lot of chemistry, a lot of lusty behavior, but maybe here today, gone tomorrow. Um, there's an energy here of um, wanting to disconnect from that sort of thing and recalibrate who you are and what you want. So um, I feel like a previous experience has really knocked your confidence in love in general. And um, it's it's made you withdraw from the um, dating scene, perhaps. Uh, or maybe you felt like whenever um, you have connected to somebody um, on a, and you're looking for a deeper connection, you may feel like they, they want to straight go to the physical aspect of a relationship. I feel like you're really learning about red flags with that and you're like, you're, you're, you're wanting something deeper. You're wanting a deeper connection. Um, we got the Hierophant there. So this is what you're manifesting at this time with that Hierophant energy. So this is a learning process. Um, some of you may have gone and you know, be looking at videos online about trying to understand love or trying to, uh, you know, um, sort of put yourself first, self-care, learning about, you know, when you raise your vibrations, for example, um, you actually attract what you truly deserve and desire. When we have low confidence and things like that, or there's codependency or trust issues, we actually attract a partner that is in a similar vibe, and then it sort of plays out in a very um, sometimes toxic way, okay? But with this card, I feel like you're trying to have faith, and I feel like you're educating yourself almost on what it is that you want. Uh, also, I feel like you want something a little bit traditional, Okay, not to say that, you know, you're not going to meet someone quirky and exciting and all of those things, but I feel like you want to settle down and you're having faith that you will find someone. So that's a really good positive energy to be in because I feel like it's taken you a while to get to the three of wands energy because the two of wands means you've been waiting for a while and the three of wands is like, you don't want to wait anymore. You want to get out there. You've observed the world and you can see that there's no one that you're currently interested in, uh, but I feel like you're um, anticipating meeting somebody new. Three of wands is like getting out there, alternatives. Uh, like what are the other opportunities out there? Um, so I feel like some of you may be trying to book uh, travel or um, trying to um, 
Now, I'm scrying at the same time as you doing your reading. Uh, they were actually showing me that there is someone coming on in here uh, that is new. There is new love coming on in here for you. Um, but there's just this energy of um, you withdrawing from this person. Now, in the water, what they're showing me, they're showing me uh, like a coin found in your shoe, okay? A coin found in your shoe. So either um, you put your shoe on recently and there was like something in there and it's coin you're like oh how did that get in there or um i don't know either you're i don't know how a coin could get in your shoe but they're just showing me a coin in your shoe so that, that's that's what they're showing me so maybe it's a tradition somewhere for somebody having a coin in your shoe um I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look that up online, but um, I feel like it's a signifier. So if suddenly a coin ends up in your shoe, maybe you've got children and they're playing or whatever, and you know they, they put coins in your shoe and you go to put your shoe on and you find a coin in there, whatever. I feel like it's it's a signifier to you that there is a change in your circumstances when it comes to love, okay? You will be meeting somebody new, so look out for that. Uh, three Wands indicates there are ample opportunities coming towards you. You're not aware of them yet, okay? There is an expense of opportunities, that's what this card pretty much means. Now, in the resistance position, we've got the child, okay? Now, this is all about new beginnings, so it's been a while before you've had a new beginning. Also, when you get the child card, it means something from when you were younger, or it doesn't have to be from when you, your childhood, but it can mean someone uh, may have influenced the way that you look at relationships, or you had a traumatic experience, and it has taught you to close down or be closed off to love. So for example, it can be anything. It could be uh, childhood trauma, it could be ancestral wounding, it could also be like bullying, uh, because it's, the confidence energy is, has been knocked, is what they're showing me here. Um, so I feel like Sometimes you feel, my beautiful Cancerians, that you're not enough. And that is not the truth. Your guides are showing me that you are you know, more than enough. You're lovable, you're beautiful, uh, both inside and out, and they want you to have that confidence. But it's number 13, which basically means if this has been a blockage for you, there's been no new beginnings or no opportunities for you to meet somebody new. That's all about to change in the next four to five weeks, okay? The energy shifts and puts you in a scenario to meet somebody new, okay? Uh, I feel like you could meet this person at a place of learning where you uh, invest your time or your energy to either learn a new hobby or do something that you're really interested in. Um, you may even pay for the service to go there. Uh, it could be like uh, painting, jewelry making, uh, you know, learning maybe something that you will help you with your work. Uh, I feel like um, that's very strongly starred for you uh, to meet somebody um, where um, there is learning involved. I mean, you could literally be maybe booking yourself on a, you know, a learning vacation or something like that, you know, like those retreats or something like that. So uh, I feel like that is something, um, one of the areas where you could meet somebody new. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, you're looking for someone who invests fully. Uh, you know, I feel like you're pretty closed off to anybody that um, is just wanting a fling because that's not the vibration you're in right now. I feel like you're looking for something deeper. You're looking for loyalty. You're looking for someone who, um, you know, invests right from the beginning. And the Ace of Pentacles indicates that there is a new beginning. The universe is sending you somebody new, uh, someone who's loyal, faithful, true blue, someone who's dependable, someone who, you know, wants to climb the walls that maybe you've built, my beautiful Cancerians, but I feel already you're on it in, tr in terms of trying to drop your shield, create healthy boundaries, but not a wall. Very important, okay? Let the good love in and, you know, keep the riffraff out. So I feel like you are doing a lot of learning about yourself. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles tells me that the universe is going to pop in and offer you a real gift of a person. But first, my beautiful Cancerians, you must realize how much of a gift you are. Because you bring a lot to the table when it comes to love. And they want you to be aware that this is the start of something really wonderful, but you must be aware of how important you are and not to overgive when it comes to connections because you're so supportive, you, you've got a beautiful, pure heart, uh, you're um, very nurturing, and you have a love that is unconditional. And sometimes, my beautiful Cancerians, uh, if you are with the wrong person or you're with the wrong experience, um, people can take, 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 and you will just keep giving and um there's you leave yourself empty and you just have to be aware of that also be aware of putting people on pedestals um because when we idolize a person uh, we tend to put ourselves below the other person 
without even realizing it okay because when you put someone on a pedestal you're actually looking up at them which means you're below them so just be aware of the energy shift we've got a two of wands you've been waiting for a long time two of wands is also an energy of um restlessness so you may have been feeling like um you may have expected to have had love by now but it's just not shown up and you may be like sort of feeling like time is ticking on and you're getting older and you may feel like oh well love's not coming for me I'll just resign myself to the fact that I'm going to be single that's not the case at all it doesn't matter how old you are whether you're 109 or whether you're 23 it doesn't really matter it's all about how you feel about yourself and then you will actually vibe with a person that is on the same frequency as you but I feel like you're coming out of a comfort zone because you're going from the two of wands which is the blockage energy and you're in the mindset of the three of wands which is right right let's get out there let's see what's available so I feel like you will actually take the initiative under that Aries energy to either put yourself on a dating app or get out there to uh, learn something I feel learning is really important um, it could be something to do with your work um, or it could be a, a hobby or something that's competitive that you do and you meet somebody there okay um, the outcome energy we've got the ring now that's all about commitment and a contract with somebody so I do feel like there is a higher level of commitment coming on in um, I feel like the stone in particular I feel like it's sapphire and I feel like it's it's royal energy where it's like someone who is true someone who's got a pure heart someone's honest um open kind loving um they're very good under pressure this person uh and also they like to travel uh that's the person who's coming in so i hope you like to travel my beautiful cancerians uh if you don't um i feel you know both of you will spend many many cozy nights uh together of course um but this person helps ground your energy uh, not in a way where they're forcing their energy onto you. I feel like you complement each other and you ground each other. Um, and we've got the anchor. So this is about finally your home. This is more settled energy. You may have felt like you were drifting for a while when it came to love. But now I feel like you're going to be more centered. Your emotional um, well-being is going to be a lot more centered as well. And I feel this is you sort of like, you know, Anchoring basically means you are actually saying I, I belong here and I'm going to stay here for the duration. So I do feel like um, it's number eight when you reduce it. Three plus five is eight, the number of the self. So I feel like this is your emotional um, stability. And I feel like you and this person, you complement each other so well. Uh, the Hierophant indicates... Sorry, the High Priestess indicates the Hierophant is right here. High Priestess indicates a little bit of mysterious energy, okay? Um, because we've got a couple of energies here. The High Priestess is you could have a uh, you could be harboring uh, some feelings still from a past situation, but I feel like you're moving on from this. Um, the High Priestess is all about trusting in the mystery of the universe, recognizing that love is not logical, um, and also you're trusting in the unknown okay but you're very very private and whilst that is wonderful um, sometimes people see you as aloof now I'm not asking you to change my beautiful Cancerians um, you should ever the right person for you you will never have to change for that person but you may have been wondering why some things did not work out because I feel like you have although you've got very very deep emotions you find it difficult to voice those emotions so sometimes um, you know I feel there could be a repression or there could be like mistrust so you you don't open up uh to people easily when you first meet them uh so i'm not saying to change at all uh this person as i said will work to break down your walls uh but i feel like when you meet this new person it's just going to feel right okay uh, also the high priestess is about wisdom enlightenment you're realizing that you are in between these worlds uh of you know being choosing to be single or choosing to be in a relationship um because we've got the fork in the road there the high priestess is like within the veil between the two worlds where she's working out what it, where she belongs or which world she should exist in right now uh, listening to her own feelings and her intuition so she's looking inwards um so i feel the eight of cups you've been on a real journey of discovery and i feel here with the eight of cups you're going further afield okay where you're at right now there's no one sparking interest so i feel like you're having to walk away from everything that you sort of are aware of because nobody's really like floating your boat right now so you may have to do something that you've never done before uh, which is either come out of a comfort zone um, put yourself 
on online dating or get out there to uh, learn something new and put yourself in a community of new people, I definitely feel like you are coming out of a comfort zone because right now where you're at, it's just not emotionally fulfilling for you. You're seeking greater authenticity uh, in relationships. You're seeing beyond the superficial. So not everybody's gonna vibe with you. You know, there's gonna be some people who come in, they're players or uh, they are, um, you know, they're just not vibing on a free frequency of authenticity and you're not really wanting to be with that person. So I feel like you're having to sift through uh, the wheat from the chaff, as it were, but there's someone here who's coming in that is true blue for you. And I feel like you're in the right space to meet that person. But the Empress card is about confidence. It's about loving yourself. Also, the Empress card reminds you that you are vibing at a frequency where you're turning heads. One of the most beautiful cards in the deck. Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. This is not a gender specific reading. This is about owning it, okay? This is about you being a new version of yourself. Seeing that you're actually brimming with potential to meet somebody new, that you're awesome. And actually in the next couple of weeks, you're gonna to start to see that people are looking at you, okay? You're going to be noticing them giving you like the side eye, like, oh, I'm pretty fine. So look out for that next four to five weeks, okay? You are being noticed. Uh, also, the Empress card, I mean, some of you, for example, um, you may have children with somebody else or you may be pregnant at this time and there's, you know, complications perhaps with, um, you know, relationships and things like that. So you may be focusing on your children at this time and feel like, um, because I feel here that there's a real energy to get it right. And I, so only a small portion where I feel some um, readers uh, or sorry, watchers um, have children. Uh, I'd say it's about 30% that I'm picking up on the energy right now who have children. And therefore, not. it's almost like you have to doubly, doubly vet the person that you date because there are children involved. So I feel like there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Um, just remember the right person, um, you will meet them at the right time. And um, because I feel like you've walked away from a few people who just didn't fit because of your circumstances. Uh, for those of you who don't have children, I feel like um, you're, um, maybe feeling like time is running out if you want a family again whether you're male or female you may be um, just thinking about settling down and what you want to leave as your legacy um, we've got the hierophant so this is commitment coming on in uh, marriage even higher level of commitment um, but we do have the hermit so I really feel like you have a choice. Uh, literally, that fork in the road says you have a choice. Uh, you can come out of your comfort zone and look further afield and put yourself in a circumstance to find love, or you can uh, quite happily be by yourself with the hermit energy, okay? The hermit is a homebody energy. So this is about you being very, very wise, uh, gaining enlightenment for what you want, going inward for your own truth and recognizing that uh, you want a relationship, you want a high level commitment, but it requires effort, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna pull a card on the hermit uh, because if you tend to be a bit of a homebody, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but maybe you find a way around it, like getting online dating and things like that. But if you don't want to do that because you feel it's not something that vibes with you, then you have to find an alternative. So just let me pull a card with that hermit energy. Can you please clarify for my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Yeah, independence. Uh, hermit is like, you know, you're, you're all good by yourself. You're focusing on your money, um, but and you're focusing on living a life of luxury or building that way. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles can also be someone who is like so self-reliant that sometimes um, it's difficult to get into a relationship because you are so independent. And you know, where you've always been thinking for one or maybe one in your family, um, it's different to then allow space for someone new to come in. Uh, I feel like you will, um, but I, I really feel like you have a choice here. Can you please clarify the Hierophant? High Priestess in the reverse. Thank you so much for it, guys, my angels. There was someone here that rejected you um, in the past. Uh, and I'm only saying it because we've got the Ace of Wands here, rejection um, or a difficult uh, circumstance. Uh, it could also have been like a false start between you and somebody. And it was not the right time, but still you seem to hold feelings for this person. No matter how you try to not think about this person, they pop up from time to time. Doesn't mean you still want to be with that person, but they really made a mark in your life and in your psyche. And if it was a negative one, it can be the thing that is kind of like preventing you from sort of engaging deeply in relationships going forward because 
previous circumstances, um, they hold no power over us. We can let them go, but somehow they still manage to influence our um, actions in relationships. So uh, I feel like you're learning about that. That's something that you are coming to terms with in your world. I mean, it's not on your mind all the time, but I feel like it pops up occasionally when you're really thinking about getting into a relationship. So you've got the Five of Wands. Now the Five of Wands is almost like in training, okay? So all the people that you experienced in the past, even if you did not have a relationship in the past and you've got to this point in your life and you've not felt that it was anything fulfilling, there is a higher purpose, okay? The Five of Wands can be a card of conflict or competition, but I feel like this is like you finding someone who stimulates your, bra your, your brain um, and, you know, and it's almost like, you found it challenging, perhaps, being on your own at this, but then eventually you got really used to it, and now it's like you've been in train. I feel like you're in training for the one. That's what I feel, because the Five of Wands uh, tends to be like a warrior um, who, you know, sets their intention on achieving something and does whatever they can to achieve it, okay? Um, as you can see, this warrior here has a handprint on uh, over their sort of heart chakra area um, and something has made a mark on you so it's about getting back into the game of love or getting back into the cycle of meeting somebody loving yourself fully and recognizing you do deserve love and although you've been marked by a previous circumstance whether it is loneliness or whether it is a challenging or dramatic ending to a relationship in the past um, you're still moving forward okay uh, five of wands tends to be that you're going to be um, when it connects to, how can I put that? When it connects to other people, it tends to mean that you're going to be in the um, company of people who are very different than you. And I feel like these are people who sort of like spark your brain synapses with new ideas. So if you're learning something, I feel like you meet someone who challenges you in a really good way, like, and, and lifts you up. So um, I feel there's a positive energy there. But we have that Three of Swords. The, so I feel like whatever has marked you, there's been a lot of difficulty or a lot of sorrow, pain. Um, someone may have um, really wounded you because um, the Three of Swords can be that there is a deep wound. Okay, so I'm going to pull a quick card on that. Um, can you show me the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands? Okay. Page of Cups. So this is going to influence. There is new someone new coming on in. Okay, because this is the outcome energy. Page Cups indicates a new person. They may be a bit younger than you. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but I feel like their energy is very open-hearted, okay? And it may scare you off at first because this person is so open. Uh, there's no no hidden agenda with this person. This person loves with um, wild abandon. This person um, is very enthusiastic to get to meet you and know you better. Uh, there's a psychic bond between you and this person. Very romantic. Very, very romantic. But because of your previous experience, you may hold back a little bit when you first meet this person. You may retreat and think, you know what, it's just easier if I'm just on my own. And I just, so I feel there is going to be I feel like you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed at first. I'm just going to pull another card on that. Thank you so much. Judgment card. Oh, okay. So, I mean, there is definitely, the three of wands says there are like ample opportunities, an expense of opportunities coming towards you. And look at this. We do have a choice, but... This one came out with the judgment card, and the card this the judgment card is all about second chances. So, um, or it can be renewal energy. So there may be someone who has made a mark on your heart um, that is coming back to have another round with you. That's your call, my beautiful Cancerians. If you want to be with that person, you get uh, to choose. We all have free will. But if you do not wish to choose, uh, of course, then there is new love coming towards you. But I also feel for those of you who. Um, or looking for love, there may be two suitors that you actually have to choose for, from. Because the judgment card is actually the fork in the road card. It is literally, you're reaching for um, a new life or you're reaching for something new. It means you need to let go of anything that hinders you. And as soon as you unblock the blockages that have been stopping you from finding new love, then all of a sudden it's like a dam busting and all of the people are coming towards you. So I feel like you have a choice. And I mean, who will you choose? So I feel like someone is a little bit more your age, someone who's a little bit more um, heightened emotions. I mean, both of them are sort of 
interesting energy. I do feel like I feel like you shy away from the person who is younger. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. I'll just pull a little bit more uh, just to see um, where you'll meet these people or what's going on. Can you show me the difference between the two? What's going on there for my people can't say it. But if you're looking for love, the answer is there is love coming. Wow, what is this? Cancerians, you're choosing neither of them. This is this independent spirit, okay? Um, so there's, it can also be that just when you're not focusing on love, it's like buses, they all come at once. So let me just go again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Okay, so the tower in reverse can be fear. Fear of opening up because of uh, perhaps a, an influence from a third party situation. Um, and by that, I mean, you could have had a previous experience where uh, you got hurt in it and you avoid your feelings um, out of fear or you're reluctant to get into um, a connection because the three of cups can be celebration or there could be someone. I mean, my guys just gave me that the page of cups connects sometimes to a romantic friend. So it can mean that someone that you know, um, who is a friend of yours, sort of like has feelings for you and you're reluctant you do, you don't want to cross the line with that person you don't want to get into a connection with that person okay um thank you so much for it guys going angels can you please guide they said this is the final card queen of swords it's in the reverse they're saying stop being logical stop being in your head open up to your emotions allow those emotions to flow now please don't shoot the messenger when i say this but that's the energy that i'm getting so i feel this is a previous experience denying your feelings is just going to make your heart harden. Uh, your heart harden is what they're giving me. Your heart harden, and you don't want to do that because you're actually such a kind soul. You're so beautiful. You deserve love, and you're really attractive. I mean, to get the, another card of, I mean, there's three cards in the deck that really connect to someone being really beautiful or aesthetically, and also internally and that is uh the empress card that is the queen of wands and also the nine of pentacles so they're just telling me what a catch you are um and that you should celebrate yourself don't deny your feelings open yourself up to love you deserve to be loved you are lovable and there is there's two opportunities coming towards you okay and the judgment card is basically which one do you choose the one that speaks and vibes to your heart you have a higher calling Okay, and you will meet the person. You'll know instinctively who the person is that you're meant to be with. Okay, it just feels right. There's no walking on eggshells, do they, don't they, they haven't messaged me for days. There's none of that. This person, the, the person that you will meet and have a higher level commitment with, then I feel you, you will know instinctively. They will not, they will never ever make you feel like you're not loved. Okay, um, I'm just going to get some final cards for you. Uh, they haven't given me um, a date or a place or a time or anything like that as to where you'll meet this person or even a song. They just gave me a penny and a shoe. Um, but I did get an energy of somewhere where you learn something, okay, a course or something like that. I mean, you've got an owl there as well, which is all about knowledge. So definitely something to do with that. I mean, an owl could even be a logo because they show me a very different owl right now that is just stationary. The wings are not spread and the owl is turning to look at me. So it's almost like the owl is noticing me. Maybe this person that you meet is actually a teacher or a mentor or someone who is working, working in the education field or something like that because the owl is actually looking at me in the water, turning around. So I feel like it's like it's looking at you. So I feel like yeah, so I'll leave it like that. Anyway, it says, choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Okay, so again, it's that energy of letting go of any sorrow or sadness from past situation because you don't need it with you. Okay, it doesn't help you on your journey. It just keeps you stuck. So it's time to let it go and let it flow, okay? I'm just gonna get some final cards uh, for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Anything my beautiful Cancerians need to be aware of? I am a dreamer. Oh, they want one more. Interesting. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them? Okay, we've got I am a dreamer. So that is about visualization and, you know, your, your, your dreams, your manifestations, they're becoming a reality. Okay. So whatever you're focusing on, you will get it. 
just make sure that you leave time for you and self-love. Uh, also, we've got I am forgiving. So it's number eight as well. So this is about forgiving yourself for um, situations where you may have given your all and it may not have been returned and you may be beating yourself up about that. Don't ever do that, my beautiful Cancerians. You were the stronger person to put yourself in that vulnerable position. So always remember that. People pay like psychiatrists and psychologists years and they pay lots of money for years to be able to get in touch with their emotions and you are a very emotional person so i feel you know um don't ever see your kindness or your emotions as a weakness that is not the case at all also we forgive the past not to let people off the hook but in order to lighten our own journey okay because if we have that baggage with us it only slows us down and not the other person so be aware of that uh, thinking about the past or it just it just keeps your attention somewhere locked and not focusing on your future so the more we think back we're not manifesting anymore because we're, we're remembering but when we look forward we're manifesting we're creating a new life remember memories are wonderful but we don't live there okay we don't live there anymore it's over it's a it's not a reality anymore so people don't realize that when we're focusing on the past all the time we actually pause our manifestation skills because we're no longer thinking about what we want in the future so we're not connecting to manifestations so be aware uh, i'm just going to get you a trinket before we close thank you so much Okay, I'm loving this. So first trinket we got here is the uh, wheel, which connects to the wheel of fortune. You will meet this person out of the blue. It is in divine timing, okay? But also remember, you have a certain, uh, to a certain degree, you have control over your actions. So we are all the master or the mistress of our own destiny, but fate intervenes along the way in order to put the right people on our path. So this is about taking the initiative, learning what to do next and what you're comfortable with to come out to a certain degree of your comfort zone. Uh, they actually want me to put this on the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, did we get an Ace? We did get an Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, Destiny is intervening. They're bringing you someone who is committed. Also, we've got um, a wonderful seahorse. Seahorses, they partner up for life. So this is a relationship that is secure. This is a divine counterpart. Okay, uh, whenever you get seahorses, it connects to soulmate energy. So there is someone incoming. They actually want me to put it on the Knight of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups energy. So romantic relationship coming in. Um, someone that you will have a, a higher level of commitment with in the future. And it's a beautiful connection. So trust it, my beautiful Cancerians. Uh, you've done the work. You can notice the red flags. You got this. I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is write five things down on a piece of paper that you feel have been blocking your uh, life or your path so far and find a creative way to release them, whether it's a safe burning ritual outside or whether it's just chuck it in the trash, whatever works for you. In the comments box below, just put the sentence, I've let it go, now I'm in the flow. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only. If something resonated here for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.